This video was brought to you by music producer Mr. Town, who provided the instrumental on behalf of his label, You Know the Crew. To her robbed of revenge, <laughs> that man ain't nothing but hate. That man should be on other television. Now, from the Scripture Cathedral in Washington, D.C., a special edition of Rivera Live. Now, what brings me here are not the cheers and applause for him, but rather the cheers and applause that filled this church on that day in August, as I was described as someone filled with hate, who should not only be off TV, but off the earth as well. That is the focus of this special edition of the program. We can't discuss justice for black people when Khalid Mohammed is sitting there, who has said some of the most outrageous, anti-Semitic, anti-Catholic things you can imagine, and I feel about it so strongly, I'm gonna walk out of here. Now you can do or what you wanna do. Bye-bye, bye-bye. He's afraid that the white folks at Harvard University want to say. One quick point, it is not in my defense at all, but it was Malik, who kind of was the co-organizer here, who invited uh, Mr. Muhammad. Malik had laid the stage against him already. You've been subpoenaed here, showing up on your own recognizance to the people's court of the black nation. In this case, the matter of the black community versus the defendant, the white racist media, and Geraldo Rivera. You were indicted here on August 28th. We are charging you and your co-defendants, the white racist media, with counts of attempted lynching of O.J. Simpson, the criminalization and dehumanization of black people, the wrongful death of the black male image. And said he had gone absolutely O.J. crazy. Everybody here in this audience can agree, Mr. Rivera, that you've gone absolutely O.J. Crazy. The reason he had gone OJ crazy is because the station and the network is owned and controlled by Jews and that they have put him out there to do that. And so your Jewish bankers have put you out I am front. very... That the jury is not a sequestered jury. The jury goes home every night. And so he retries OJ and the day's proceedings on TV every night so that whatever they dealt with in the courtroom during the daytime, he could erase it hopefully at night. We would Nothing. try this case every night on public television so that the jury that is not sequestered can see you try it every night and you will impact on the I have panel of jury. And I said that you have a tarnished relationship with the Goldman family. Your personal behind closed doors dealings with Denise Brown no, and that. the Brown we family. Are. And your mama is a Jew. Because you do not openly on all occasions really admit that your mother is Jewish. Yeah, he just went well. Oh, 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 you're going to get personal with me. Well, Khalid, I'm telling you, if this gets into Rumor. an anti-Semitic ramble, then I'm going to walk off the show. And he has a big tattoo of us, right? The so-called Star of David on oh, his hand, right here. He said, I'm, a, I'm proud of my Star of David. I'm huh. very proud I've got a Star of David they tattooed have put right you there. Out. This is exposing him and pulling the cover off of him that his mom is a chief. And then I went on to say, hey, you have a behind-closed-doors relationship. He's sleeping with Denise Brown, who is the sister of Nicole. He's a big wild. How, how, how much is the country? Where do you go before it is beneath contempt? Please. You promised you would stick on. on the issue. Is that the issue? Do no. you want to bring up personal issues about yourself? Or me? <laughs> <laughs> then we had it set up. My comrade in the struggle from the hire of Ashanti, who is representing Brother Kabir Hadass from West Philly. My name is Hiram Ashanti, and I'm a member of the United Force Success Organization in Philadelphia under the leadership of Kabir Das. We set it up before. He came to the mic, he told him that he was going to ask something else. That he was going to say, well, look, we didn't agree with OJ being here in this community, in this church, and that Khalid Muhammad, and they said, oh, come on. And they brought him up to the mic. And he got up to the mic, and Brother Hiram Ashanti laid it all out. My question is to Dr. Khalid Muhammad. With all these white militia groups forming the neo-Nazis, the Nye Birth, the ADL, skinheads and others, 
What would you suggest? Why would you put all of those together? They say with the skinheads and the Ku Klux Klan and the militia and the Freeman and the ADL. And he said, you're going to put all of them together in the same category? And he fights him down. What you're suggesting is not going. I mean, you can, you're comparing the ADL well, look, to the We're Bray discussing the racism here, not, here, Geraldo, and I'm discussing oh, another oh. factor of racism. We've seen what happened right there in St. Petersburg, Florida. Yes, and that's a real racism. issue. Stick yes, to that yes. issue. That's a hey, real issue. Tell exactly. So my question issue. is to Brother Khalid, how do we confront viewing. these new forming militias? Should black men take up arms? Should black men take up arms? Is that the question? Yes, sir. My God. He said, I want to ask uh, Dr. Khalid Muhammad, should black men get to take up arms? Should black men have guns? That's it. Where, how, have we, is that where this discussion is going? Bishop, Bishop, you don't want that kind of question asked here in the church, do you? Would you allow him to answer Bishop, the question? Bishop, sir, Bishop, is that where we want this discussion to go? Absolutely. Dr. Black men take up arms. That question is not permitted on this program. I'm going to take a break. We're going to go to a break. Oh, if you don't want me to answer, no, that no, black please, I do not. I do not. I do not, that is an appalling question. So you're not gonna let me answer the question here? No, that question can't be. We're not gonna allow that question to be answered here. Too black and too strong. We'll be right back. Everybody knows he gave seven grand. Bishop, I thought you were going to mention my donation. I've already made one. He gave seven grand. Well, the preacher kept paying. <laughs> I hope you will leave something for the people. Wasn't he begging? Geraldo, I hope you will let me suggest to you what we need. Geraldo, Geraldo, you promised us. I shall, I promise. You said, Geraldo, that you were going to give us some money. He said, well, I gave you some money. His first and foremost purpose is to make money. And if he is serious about caring, he would take every dime, including his salary, that that CNBC show makes and give it to victims' rights. I can only give you an impression of Mr. Rivera that I had even before <laughs> my uh, whole ordeal is that some people in, on this earth, I mean, I mean, ecologically speaking, you know, we have buzzards, we have jackals, and they must serve a purpose because what they do is they feast on misery and death. Long before my case, this man feasted on people's misery and death. Just look at his show.